Hey, and welcome back to part two of the flower challenge, I guess, press flowers. If you didn't see last week's video, it was a vlog of me walking through my neighborhood, wooded area. I took a walk around my house and down the road and picked some flowers and I've been pressing them for about five days now. Yeah, five days now. And Usually this is about the time when my other flowers, like when I used to press flowers back in high school, it's about the time when they would be perfect. So we're gonna take the printer off this printer. <laughs> yes, I can't find my flower pressing book, so I'm using my old printer in a Walmart box. <laughs> so we'll move the printer and see how everything went. Oh, it pressed fine. So I'm stuck to the newspaper. I forget when they dry, they lose their volume. Oh, that was pretty nice. A really good one right there. This one's actually still wet, probably because it's a leaf. I kind of figured the bleeding hearts would lose their color. And when I was at the dollar store the other day, I found this a little flower wood panel, and I'm like, perfect for flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna make art with flowers on this little flower board. I also just wanted to mention before we jump right into the end of my LGBT stickers and buttons on my Etsy shop are still 25% off until July 3rd. I thought it was the 2nd, I looked at my promotion, it's the 3rd. So those are still on sale and this Sunday, if you're watching this the day it comes up, I'm going to be having these little fox babies on my shop. These are This is my first attempt with a waterproof vinyl, although these are a little difficult to get off the backing. Like, I, like you have to rip it like twice on the side to get it or like stretch it. It doesn't affect the vinyl. Even though this is a waterproof vinyl, I'm still going to be charging the same price as the non-waterproof. Only because this is a very difficult paper to work with. This Pride's still on sale and cute baby fox. There's been a fox outside my house and I think her babies are under my porch. I haven't gotten around to look because I'm afraid that she's going to jump out and bite me or something, but she keeps circling so that was my inspiration for the fox. But I don't feel like going inside today. It's so nice out. So... I'm moving the station outside. Thank God my oh my God my hands are so shaky. Thank God my tripod is portable. Brought my computer, this pencils, I have my cords. My neighbor is mowing the lawn, and I even have a friend. That's right, baby. Whenever I come outside, or at least most of the times, I always put him in his travel cage because he sits right next to me. He's such a good boy. He was his water, a snack that I know he's gonna eat, and then some of his actual food down here. He gets cranky sometimes when he's out here because it's really noisy. Not like too noisy, but. Hi, baby. Okay. Let's make some flour. I left my glue downstairs. I guess I really don't need it right now since that's gonna be a last minute thing. The flowers are actually in here, but guess we'll get started. 